if you are in a customer service kind of job and or even a support job to a customer service kind of role, please, please, please listen to my advice here. Whenever your customer needs help, be available and ready and willing to help. And here's why I'm saying this and making this straight talk video. Uh, just anecdotally, yesterday, just yesterday, in fact, I was at the local grocery store. I was not in the uh, self-checkout lane. I was being rung up by the gal. Had several things in the, in the basket. And the checker at the end of the, not checker, but the bag, the bagger at the end of the, um, at the end of the line there that bags your groceries had stepped away. And so all the groceries were just piling up at the bottom of the conveyor, you know, in that area. So I decided to step over there and start bagging my own groceries. Now I'm not in the self-checkout lane. Um, and it's something that should have been done by the bagger or by somebody other than the customer. And while I was bagging my own groceries, other people that worked in the store just looked on and watched this customer bag his own groceries. <laughs> now, if I'm in the self-checkout line, I get that. That's what you do. But part of what we pay for in grocery stores is service. And one of the reasons we don't go through the self-checkout line is maybe we have health issues that prevent us from bagging our own groceries. Or maybe we just don't want to and we like the full service experience. Fact is, when you are in the regular checkout line, you expect someone to be there to bag your groceries. What's, it wouldn't have been a big issue if they had no one else or that bagger started getting sick and had to step away and nobody else was available. I'm okay with that. I'm a, I'm a big boy, right? I can do this. The problem, though, was other employees who were doing nothing just watched this white-haired older man have to bag his own groceries because an employee stepped away and nobody stepped in. Where's the customer service? In the same store, when, when I, and I frequent this store because I like the store. I like their selection of goods. I know the layout of the store. I'm in their fuel rewards program, all that. I like the cleanliness. I like their selection. I like their, I just, I like the store. I like the products they carry and so on. Uh, and otherwise, it's, it's a good experience shopping there. But about mm, seven months ago, i tell you another story. In the exact same store, in the regular checkout lane again, we were using paper bags and the... Checker had stepped away, and I was okay to lift the, what, the, the, the remaining bag that he had filled and put it in the cart. Well, the bag ripped. It was cheap paper. And the groceries in that bag went all over the floor. Here I am on my hands and knees scrambling to get all the groceries while two store employees stood there looking on at this gray-haired older man on his hands and knees, scrambling to get the tomatoes and the cans of beans and whatever else was without helping me. That instance caused me to rethink, should I belong to their rewards program or not? Should I continue shopping there? <clears throat> but I was convinced and maybe, maybe sort of still am, that the other benefits of shopping there, uh, as I have already outlined, make it worth still going there. But after yesterday, I'm not so sure. Now, that said, this isn't a rant about that. This is to bring it back to the customer service angle. And who isn't in customer service? Just because your role doesn't say customer service representative doesn't mean that you don't have a responsibility to take care of that customer when there is a need. And I don't care if it's a union shop or non-union shop. doesn't matter to me. The customer has a need that is evident. Nobody is filling that need that should be filled by a role, by someone being there to do that job, and others just look at the customer watching him as he flounders around. It is terrible. Let your 
customer service savvy, skill, willingness, and so on at work speak volumes about you, especially if you are not in that customer service role. Maybe your job is something else, but there's a customer who needs help and you are the one that's available. Step in and help and watch your boss be thrilled with that. Watch your boss look at you as someone who isn't there just to do his or her role that's on your, that is in your job description, but you're there to take care of the customer regardless of what your job is. You know, as the CEO of my own small company, I have people in the field doing their work. I have people in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the facility here doing their work, but I'll step into any job that needs to be taken care of. If our customers are being taken care of by our customer service person in the office and there is a need to, 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 for someone to step in to, to help, I'm there to help. Now, I am, I do own the company, so it's in my best interest, I guess, to do that. But wouldn't it be great if anyone in the company who saw a need that wasn't being filled stepped in to take care of that? Assuming you're qualified, you know what you're doing to do it. You know, putting an old man's, not old man, I'm not old, but I am older, Groceries that are all over the floor back in another bag for him might be a thing that most anybody is qualified to do. <laughs> you know, or somebody who says, why is that older guy there bagging his own groceries in the, in the full service line? Let me do that for you, sir. That's how we take care of our customers. You be that employee who, who goes that far, which really isn't far. It isn't. It is what I think would be the minimal acceptable standard. Just take care of the customer because that customer might make a video about it. Now, I'm not mentioning the name of the company. I have no acts against the company. I like them. I do. I do. I still like the company and I will likely still shop there. But not everyone is that kind. Maybe that customer will tell 10 of his friends, don't shop there because here are my two very, 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 very bad experiences, relatively speaking. And at some point, your company will hurt if that becomes a pattern. Well, be the one that helps save the company. I'm exaggerating a bit, but just take care of that customer. But be that above and beyond employee and watch the relationship between you and your boss and frankly, other employees who see that. Watch that relationship flourish. Well, thanks for watching. If you got value from this, please subscribe. Share this with everybody else and hit that bell so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meanwhile, I hope you have that great job, that dynamic career that you want to have. Take care.